We're coming to you from Southern California. Hello and thanks for joining us in Noche La NBA, the NBA celebration of Latin heritage, both among its players and fans. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brent Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. Both teams tonight dealing with some injuries. Here's a look at who's out for the evening. And with both teams at less than full strength, we'll have to see which side is able to remain more effective. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge John on the sideline. David? Kevin, thanks. Bam Adebayo is a first-time All-Star in 2020. He was the 14th pick in 2017. And he said, whoever gets drafted, you want to play the right way. My situation was different. I had to sit. You gain experience and reps during practice. Once you get to do it in the game, the leash gets longer and you get to become who you want to be. Kevin, he's become one of the best young big men in the league. All right, thank you, David. Two terrific defenses tonight, Greg. They do it in a variety of ways. It's been hard for either team to score. You know, strong on ball, in help, in transition, and both coaches doing such a great job of making the adjustments. And listen, the reality is defense still can be a factor in determining who wins and who loses. And we're seeing it right before our eyes. So here's Miami's starting group. In the middle, it's Olenek in Adebayo. Kendrick Nunn out there with Robinson. And it's Butler in at the three slot. And for Los Angeles, Caldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Marky Morris is out there with Marc Gasol. And it's Schroeder in at the one. Watch out when Adebayo gets vertical. That's a big bam. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the game here. That one misses for Schroeder. Schroeder last year accepting his role of coming off the bench and being a scorer. So whatever it is the coaching staff is asking of him, he's willing to do it. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Kendrick Nunn playing at Southside Chicago's Simeon High. That's the exact same high school that one Derek Rose came from. He also played alongside Jabari Parker and won four state titles there. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Here's Caldwell Pope. Great tee that time from Adebayo. He'd have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Outside Butler. Launches it. Offensive rebound. Adebayo on the follow. Yeah, those possessions like zombies staying alive out there, courtesy of Bam Adebayo. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Gasol misses off the left iron. And those four straight titles in Illinois record made it seven total in Simeon's history. That's unbelievable stuff, and that's probably why there's great reason why Kendrick Nunn's jersey hangs there in the rafters. Only four players have gotten that honor. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. None can't get it to fall. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. The Heat have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Robinson passes to Autobio. Up and in for the basket, number four. That makes him four for five now. Well, Bam Adebayo is so efficient right there. He picks a smart shot that fits his skill set. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Now, here's none. The pass to Olenek. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far time in the first quarter. Out. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And Bam Adebayo has a chance to be a very good interior defender. The way he moves his feet, because he's so physical, he's a presence down there.
Los Angeles making a switch here. Harold's checked in. Here's James. And Brent's story has it in his draft workouts. The heat ran out of bio to exhaustion, then put him to the test, carding wing players. Yeah, and they looked at him and said, in effect, you must not know who I am and the kind of work that I've done. He's got that kind of edge, and that's the thing that this heat culture is always looking for. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Now, here's Nunn. Passes to Robinson. Back to Nunn. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Oh, to the Parada Bio. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And again, the Lakers no good. Miami leading by 10. And stolen by LeBron. Takes the three. The Lakers get it back in a new 14. Good defensive play out of bio on the inside, helping out his teammates. Here's Butler, and it's sent back by Morris. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. A different look for Miami. Achua, he's checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Tyler Hero comes in for Robinson. And it's Drogic in for Kendrick Nunn. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. Three-pointer, Butler. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. And nice court vision from Dragic there to get a great look at the bucket. Lakers trail by 13. Here's Schroeder. Here's Harrell. And Adebayo sends it back. And it's the Heat on the break. Here's Hero with the putback. Adebayo on the follow. Adebayo's got 16 points. Already they've piled up eight second chance points. Schroeder finds James. Here's Caldwell Pope. Unable to get that one. And it's Miami the other way. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That's his first foul. Andre Iguodala is checked in for Jimmy Butler. 121 left to play here in the first. On the wing, Iguodala. Knocks down the three ball. And the arc Iguodala has on his three-point shots, almost like he's drawing rain from time to time. L.A. has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Kuzma. Here's Horton Tucker. That's tipped. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Here's Achua, and it's blocked. Oh, that's merciless. Kuzma plays with such competitive energy, wasn't letting that shot get off. You got to get up tighter than that. Some players you, you can give that much room to, but not him. Here's Trogic from outside. Rebound by Harrell. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a 16-point game. There's 25 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Horton Tucker. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Autobio. Achua the pass to Autobio. A one near Igudawa as he lets it go. The three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Miami with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on... 
bit earlier, we had a chance to chat with Kyle Kuzma, who loves play- You know, for me, it, it's, it's super cool. It just well, Kuzma, Greg, has certainly learned a lot, proficient at the offensive end, and adding more to his game every day. Yeah, I mean, he's been focused on improving the defense and rebounding, and much of that is due to the players he's been surrounded by. And we welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. And quite a position here for the Heat to be in. What do you guys think? Well, the coaches preach ball movement, and we saw exactly why in that first quarter. Well, everybody just feeling the energy of the basketball as they moved it around, and lots of hands were touching it. On the court for Miami here in the second. They've got Achua. Hero out there with Dragic. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Igudala in at the three. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA. You had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call. And, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a, a few guys, though, will say Gary Payton. I got a, to, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we used to go at it in high school. And, and it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, he, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scotty Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Inside, here's a Chua, and that's good. And it's Dragic with the assist. And the Heat lead by 21. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Here's Caruso. Second shot opportunity. It's Gasol missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Shots good by Achua. Achua's got four points now in the quarter. There he is, beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game time out, time out. away. I just don't see how you climb back into the game when you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Teams will make substitutions. Girls, make some noise, man. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. None against Caldwell Pope. None can't get it to fall. Lakers trail by 21. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive over Igudala. A nice shot by Gasol. Gasol's got six. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic. It struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now sports is a microcosm of society as a whole, and we all are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. 
Thanks, GA. To the middle. Here's Olenek. And the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, he can surprise you around the rim. Olenek has some lift. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, GA, he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Basket counts, and the Heat lead by 21. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And the Lakers call time here. And with a name like Duncan Robinson, you wonder, were his parents Spurs fans? I could call GA, but I don't think so. He was born in 1994. That's a few years before Tim Duncan joined the Spurs alongside the Admiral. Good NBA name. Bam Adebayo's checked in for Andre Iguodala. And that one's good by LeBron. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. The Heat leading by 19 points. Nunn looking around. He makes that one drop only a second and five tries. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater, boy, those sure are pretty. The draw. Oh, no doubt. Ah, never get tired of LeBron James in the air doing wonderful things. 151 left to play in the first half. And there's the call on James. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. Morris is checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And Dennis Schroeder subbed in for Alfonso McKinney. Caldwell Pope against Nunn. And slam dunk by Butler. Yeah, Jimmy Butler just too athletic on that play. Look at the height. Pass to Schroeder. Back to Gasol. Good work there as it goes. Gasol's got eight points here in this quarter. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. None can't get it to fall. Well, his shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. None with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Timeout called the Heat. Teams deciding to change it up. Noise, Here's Adebayo. 16 points for him. Olenek the pass to Adebayo. Now Trogic. He's guarded by Schroeder. Trogic gets the bucket. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Adebayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Here's Morris, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Morris has got his first two points. A Heat leading by 17. Dragic with it. He's got five. And here's Olenek from the arc. Does not score with that shot. It's his second miss against two made shots. Here's Horton Tucker, and the layup falls. Tucker's got six. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. That was a possession where Jimmy Butler just did not settle for the jump shot. 
drove right in and came right at the defense. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. The Heat have gone one for one making their previous attempt at the line. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Now, Jimmy's an interesting personality on the team. So between what the staff demands of him and what he demands of the teammates, that can be a delicate balance. What elevation.